Hi Seekers! <laughs> Welcome to Madness Life. If you're new here, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and if you'd like to become a member, links in the description. I gotta fix this uh, problem I got over here with my, the sun. La, 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 la. It's too bright. I need to put a curtain on this window. I really need, I really, really do. Ah, much better. <laughs> My gosh. Let me tip this back too. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome. Live chat alert. Boom. Boom. What's going on? Willie scream. <laughs> We're on part four, people. We're on part four. Mm. Let me say hi. Wow, we got a lot of people. Okay, see Morton, Leon, Cammy. Oh, here we go, Kimmer, Sarah, Alexis, Ellen, I speak out, Deb, Sage, Necesita, LJ, Sandy, Angel of Glass, Clotho, Signy. Hi, Signy, I haven't seen you in a while. Good morning. Jamie, Pink Cactus, Reality Chica. What's happening, my people? My people. I'm just kidding. A little ownership there. Ah, oh, Catherine, Christy girl, Bev. All right, so where did we leave off? <laughs> Angela Glass and Nancy, hello. Uh, where did we live off, Periwinkle? Um, okay, so. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, so <clears throat> she was, she retracted the police state, the police report against Nader. He went to jail uh, and then she, then she retracted it. And then he moved to Montreal with Dee Dee. Now that's where we're at. Now we're just doing like, what we would call like a summary, okay? Because there was so much crazy. From the time he went and moved into Montreal, or to Montreal, with Dee Dee. Like, Foodie will like set her Tinder to Montreal so she could keep going to Montreal. She was showing up at Dee Dee's. Um, she constantly was reaching out in the background to nod her, even though uh, he wasn't allowed to even talk to her or about her. Um, and she just kept spiraling. She just kept spiraling. And so we're going to get some hints of that. And then she goes to Cuba. Okay. Then she goes to Cuba. Now, remember her Beezers kept saying, you're, you're, you're going to Montreal to see Nada. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I used to always go to Montreal. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Uh, so, orange julep. I just really craving it. You already know, right? We were all there for all the BS. And I'm telling you, there is no better story than the foodie beauty story on the YouTubes. And the internet's forever. So, there's that. And we do believe she is on a seven-day suspension. I did see a clip where she had to tell Pete's. Uh, that it was her birthday and to say happy birthday to her. So he did. <laughs> she did. She had to tell Pete's it was her birthday. Now, if you're a married woman, you're not supposed to be talking to other men and, and asking them to wish you a happy birthday. Now, had Pete's remembered on his own, I'm sure he would have. <laughs> the big 4-0. He didn't even remember. <laughs> That's pretty sad when your only friend doesn't remember it's your birthday. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe you just don't care. How about that? I would think she'd go on Twitch if she was banned, but maybe she wants us to believe she's not banned. Or maybe she's taking a perfect opportunity to take a mental health break from the YouTubes or travel back to Canada. Gather all her things, minus a hamster and a cat, right? And 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 go home. Go home. Mm -hmm. So let's... Go on with part four, people. Don't forget thumbs up. Don't forget the thumbs up. Now, all my clips 
I have taken from Queen of WTF. If you're not subscribed, please do. It's a great archive. Short little stents of the crazy. Maybe he's trying to heal. Chantel should leave him alone. Right, leave Pete's alone. <laughs> leave him alone. I know, I love Queen of WTF too. All right, here we go. Oh, there's the Etsy link. Thank you so much for the orders. We're down to minimal face creams now, and I'm not making it for quite a while. So if you want one, get one. Uh, but everybody already knows. During the summer, I do not make my face cream, and I do not send my rose clay face bars either. They are subject to melt. So I don't even take the chance. Even though it's in my disclaimer, I still am not taking the chance. All right, so let's go. Let's go, baby, let's go. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the gift that keeps on giving. Oh, thank God for archives. Hello, Syl. Good morning. It's gonna be sunny and chilly near Ottawa today. Nice, same here. I think it's gonna be 52, but it, you know, that's chilly. Oh my gosh. Our favorite girl. Lights, camera, action, people. Baby, it's so easy to change. All you have to do is clean me. Oh my God. All you have to do. Dude's clean. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> God, I love the old foodie. Oh, baby. You know what's crazy, foodie? You lost a lot of weight back then, right? You were getting pretty close to getting skin removal surgery. Then you went to Kuwait and messed all that up. Now you got to start all over. It's okay, Sam. Yeah. I'm right back, guys. I'm just gonna use my my facilities. What are those? Just a few of those here. What are those? Are those fupa wipes? I'll be back. I'm just gonna have a shower. O M G. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I gotta keep going. <coughs> oh my God. I took a whole bath. I showered earlier today. So you're trying to tell us you showered earlier today, but you went in there with wipes. What? Well, since my previous boyfriend didn't work out and is now living with another woman. I am gonna move on. So Nader had moved in with Dee Dee. So she's gonna move on, people. Yeah, no, no. You know, why didn't you ever have a stylist just style you? You cannot, ma'am, you cannot take fashion into your own hands. Polka dots, like really? <laughs> you look like a big mushroom from you. Alice in Wonderland. Shirt. No. This is why you always lied about your size. Because it was always too small. No. No. Why you got... Demented Minnie Mouse. Ma Maxi Mouse. No, close your legs. Oh, what? I legit want to send you something that will help you keep clean when you're not up to showering. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, just email me. <laughs> when are you going to send out postcards? Soon. We're going to go to- She never sent out postcards, by the way. To Kingston and Bees. So she had a tier um, in her members only that if you paid for that tier, you got a postcard every time she traveled. Well, <laughs> Cuba, then Kuwait. No postcards. This is someone new I just started talking to. Should I wear the shirt or no? No. <clears throat> what? Maybe if I hadn't eaten so much veneer today. Oh my God. 
Remember where they say, I'm gonna kick you where the sun don't shine? Uh, the sun is totally shining on it. <laughs> totally. Come on, man. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that wig. Shame on you. Look at that wig. <laughs> no. Another no. This is not sexy enough. No, it's disgusting. What is with this body shape? Yeah. Egg on legs with funkal feet. The Funkle Feet came in. The Funkle Feet. No, none of them, none of them fit together. She had a huge, <laughs> she had to buy, she had to buy those flip-flops. You know, the ones with the big, they have that big strap between the two front toes. Because look at the separation is epic. Oh, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She was so miserable in Canada, you guys. How did you not see it? We're not at the sheen, Abra. Because I called Natter and he was washing Dee Dee's porch. Why'd you call Natter? There's a restraining order. He moved in with another woman two hours away and you're still calling him. And he's washing Dee Dee's porch. Man, stalker much? You want to watch Dee Dee's porch? So if you're going to watch, watch Dee Dee's porch, I'm going on a Tinder date. Go ahead. Oh, my God. Go right the fuck ahead. Do you want your future? Oh, my God. I hated that shirt so much. I hated that shirt so much. You look like some foil-dipped Easter egg. Hi, Shireen, beautiful lady. Why is she trying to dress like she's 18? She has no style, no sense of fashion. She watches too many TikToks. Husband. The Winnie the Pooh shirt. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh, she did. You're right. Can you imagine if it was yellow? It'd be perfect. That's a dress that used to be a shirt. Yeah. A dress that, a shirt that used to be a dress. Merch? Or? No. My God. Hi. I'm your new AI assistant. <laughs> Dig, stop. Dig, stop. <coughs> I'm your new AI assistant. God, she was funny. Those days are long gone. Gun tell. Gun tell. <laughs> yes, this looks even sexy. No, it doesn't. Who does r ruffling? Grandma? Grandma wears that under a blazer. Who, you, who even needs to know it's fake? Nobody. Okay. Gotta have some cleave. Ah. Men like their boobs. Makes it easier to get down and dirty. What? Not when they see my bare boobs, you know. I had a guy tell me once, you have the biggest vagina I've ever seen. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Oh my god. I said, oh, like, what does that mean? Is that. No, it's a good thing. No, no. I can't imagine that being a good thing. Oh, usually that's not a good thing. No. Anyway, I said no sex on the first date. No touching anything. Bigger than a barracuda. Anything? Barracuda! No one's gonna see my fupa tonight. My is off limits for the time being. I'm so nervous. I don't like meeting new people. This is just, just for fun. Like, honestly, I'm not going to kiss anybody, I don't think, but I just, I don't want that. God, can you even imagine being that desperate that you're just meeting random strangers? I, oh my God. I feel like.
I hate the way she chews gum. Her bottom jaw goes left, right, left, right, left, right. Not up, down. Left, right, left, right. Okay, I'm on the phone right now. Oh, you're making this exit. Where am I going? I don't even know where I am. How come my GPS is not working? This is really weird. My GPS should be working right now. It should be telling me where to turn and it's not. This is the way to Montreal. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I swear. Yeah, it's like chew and cud for sure. Got the GPS. Made me miss my exit to the bowling to the place I'm supposed to meet this guy at the bowling alley. You in a bowling alley? Oh my god, in a skirt. And I'm already running late for. And it, it literally put me on the path to Montreal. <laughs> oh, go figure. I'm late for a date. I missed the exit, and my GPS is taking me to Montreal, which is freaking an hour and 45 minutes away. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, just keep going. What is going on? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Get off at the next exit, get back on, go the other way, and hit your exit. Day, 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 day. I look like a frog right now. I'm not going. Frog? I don't see a frog. <laughs> I see. You kind of look like a drag queen. Can we be honest? I mean, him. No, I didn't cancel. I don't know what to do. I think I'm just gonna leave. I'm, I think I'm just gonna wait to, to to meet guys. I think I'm gonna wait for them to meet me. Like I don't want to meet like blind date. It makes me too anxious. I gotta block that guy now. No, I'm too scared. I don't feel like I've been loving myself, so I don't feel like I should meet somebody right now. I don't want to stand and mop. Should I just go? I think we should go home and bees. I'm going home. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to that person. I will apologize to them. So they watch your channel. Let me guess. You told them you were a YouTube celebrity. Honest to God with this one. Every Tinder date she ever had. I got a YouTube channel. I'm somewhat of a public figure celebrity influencer. Yeah, look it. Here's your influencer. I just don't, just don't know if I'm ready for it. That's all. Oh, I don't know. I should. I really should have done this. This was a mistake. I'm really no, it wasn't S Jam, because S Jam actually drove to her villa, and she freaked out and started telling everybody he was a stalker, alcoholic stalker, because she was petrified. And he didn't even knock on the door. He just said, "Hey." I'm outside your villa. Um, uh, I was wondering if you wanted to do a meetup. You know, he only sent her like freaking hundred dollars every freaking live stream, and she freaked out and like totally threw him under the bus. I'm sorry. I always do this. I like start. To, she like, did end up meeting him in a hotel once, and they both green, you know, greened out and shit and whatever. Meet somebody, and then I already think it's not real. It's like really not hard to just go on fish and tinder you guys have seen my profiles and just literally just like meet any guy who messages you and i feel so immature and juvenile and stupid dragging. yeah it is stupid dragging you guys through this like oh you love dragging your audience through it high school friggin bullshit and this nail these nails will not come off tell him your ex still controls your every move but he lives with another woman yeah, tell us that your ex controls your every move, but he lives with another woman. So in other words, Natter must have been calling her or texting her when he's seen her going on a date, which is why she turned around. Of course it's catfishing. Of course her profile pic is heavily filtered. All right, you're right. Hold on. I'm going. Wasn't the guy she met behind the bowling alley her drug deal? I don't know about any of that, but she did meet people in strange places. Motorcycle man, right? And then uh, um, the outhouse man. I'm coming. I'm coming, boy. Oh, sorry. I know you guys don't like when I say boy. So I'll say, what can I say? I'm coming, sir. You know, it's got to be hard to drive a car when you can't even turn your head all the way. I wonder if he's going to be mad. Okay, I'm going to do this for you guys. What? So. That's what I think. I think that too, Christy. Hi, what do you... I can't believe I'm going to meet a guy. Like, 
Oh, it's a bowling alley guy was motorcycle man? Okay. You can find me a new friend. That would be cool, I guess. You know, just friends. Oh, yeah, you're on Tinder. Can we be friends? Can we be friends? Pinky swear? Pinky swear? Who goes on? That's what you go on Tinder for, Chantal? Why don't you go, well, why don't you go on like Care Bear, Care Bear Friends for Life or Beanie Baby Friends, Tinder, knock it off. You, you wanted Nader to like think, you know, he's supposed to be jealous. Oh my God. Who makes an ass on their self, of themselves on the internet to make Nader jealous? Which is why I think she's in Kuwait. I'm the one that got away, Nader. Look at me. Look at this 30-year-old wants to marry me and be my husband. See? See, Nader? I'm in a Muslim country, Nader. Look at me. Yeah, as you gain 100 pounds and you're absolutely miserable, go figure. You're not a very good actress. I can pee. Oh, my God. I'm going home. I don't want to do that. I got to get in the other parking lot, I think. Is that him? That's him. Oh my god. That's him. Oh my god, that's him. That's him. <laughs> I gotta go for real. That's him. Look. I gotta go, guys. You, you know you're a whole lie. Oh my god. It is Motorcycle Man. It's Motorcycle Man. It's Motorcycle Man. She just meeting strangers on the Tinder. I can't with this one. Oh my God. Then she Tinder International. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So scary. So scary. Okay, next. Now we're getting ready to go to Cuba, people. Now a lot happened in between. There was motorcycle man, big Turk. Um, uh, Menden, there were so many guys, and, and Menden, I'm in love, he's my boyfriend. She met him on Tinder, but she never seen him in person. He, he was, he lived in t Turkey or something, I don't know. But most of them that lived in Canada were seeking papers, they wanted to move in with her, uh, they wanted money from her, blah, 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 blah. And, uh, so there was a lot that went on before Cuba. So now we're going to get ready to go to Cuba. She's going to Winners. I've never heard of it. It's a Canadian store. And she's going to go shopping, get some stuff. Because remember, she used to make 12 to 20 grand a month. Now, oh my God, can you imagine? The last four days of the month, and she is on a seven-day ban from YouTube. Oh my God, that's going to cost her some money. You know, she can't afford to lose a dime now with all that crap she's paying for and in Kuwait, plus she has to give Salah his allowance for being her fake husband. Yeah, I know, she got a, an extra face on the back. It looks like a mad face, right? Eye, eye, growly mouth. Let's go, girl. We're at Winners. Uh, Club Double. B, Jinjo. Someone has to see the CEO. Exactly. Has I foresee her buying the tackiest like there. We remember that suitcase. What do you got on? Hiking boots? <laughs> what is with this shirt? Can we talk? Hey, can you drive this around? Okay. Oh my god, that's the cutest thing I ever seen. Let me see. Bon voyage, and it's like a passport holder with uh. all your stuff. She was um, an impulsive shopper, by the way. She bought everything that she thought was cute and threw it in the cart. Now she can't buy nothing. She can't even buy to-go food. No okay. shit. What the hell was that? I have to look at things people buy. AirPod case. Yeah. No okay. shit. AirPod case. It's not just buying everything in reach. This one, she could walk around a store and uh, she wasn't even out of breath. Mm-hmm. This one, she told us she was 340 pounds. 
So how the hell was she only 360 pounds in Kuwait? Trying to tell us she only gained 20 pounds. She running all around, not out of breath. It's only 79 bucks for Marcus Peacock. Not really. really? Sriracha salt. Can I bring this? I don't know. Fruz balls. Uh, Jen, has gotten out of the house uh, help my state of mind? Of course not. Okay, so Winners is like a TJ Maxx. Oh, I love TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I used to love Ross in Florida. That's like a TJ Maxx in Florida. Oh. Character are you right now? I'm not a character, man. I'm Jay. I'm an employee of the Beezer Show. No. 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 The frumpiest thing I've ever seen. Have a little big hit. See, she used to bounce around on everything so easy. I mean, come on. This, you know what? Uh, she barely, she's so close to bedbound in Kuwait. There's no shame. I know that you have no shame. Are you going to be embarrassed? Yes. I'm not joking around you, Mike. What if I have an accident on the plane? All right, let's go. I've seen her going to buy the Depends, but I don't think she did. Like for the plane ride? Anyone here to admire my belly top? <coughs> like Apple, if you want to wear a crop top, you need to kind of put it over this part of your body. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not going to fix. Oh my God, look at that shirt. What a nightmare. You look like a tree stump. Oh, my God. On the plane? I guess I'll find out. I didn't get diapers. I was gonna. Amelia! Guys, you caught me scared that I would fit in this freaking plane bathroom. I don't give a shit. Oh, she, she did buy the adult diapers. Okay. People do, sometimes. Because she's afraid she won't fit in the bathroom. What, your dis disability is more valid than anyone else's? Fuck that. I want, always wanted one of these. A rotating night sky projector. What? Seriously? What are you, 10? I want a floating night projector on my ceiling. Does she ever even unbox that? What will we do without, Kate, without uh, weed in Cuba? We're going to drink. Isn't that cute? I still need no. bathing suits. Enjoy. She always will open shit with her teeth. So I got this thing for my AirPods to bring on the plane. Some eyelashes. I got a reusable bottle for the beach. Like I want one like this I can just carry. Just breathe. Can I bring sriracha salt to Cuba? And I got this for the beach bag. She looks like a bag of rotten onions. <laughs> That was a good one, Terminally Crazy. <laughs> it was 20 bucks. You need an adapter for the outlets. Really? No, you don't. Really? Why are you morbidly obese? Laughy face, American flag. Why are you surprised that obese people when you live in America? Your whole fucking population is obese. Our whole population is obese? Maybe certain states and... You know, and, and the fact that they keep fast food in certain small towns um, as a cheaper food source in the grocery store, probably just to keep the hospital booming. Uh, yeah, do the math. Actually, I think it's like close to 40% now, pal. What is, is, it, is it? I need, speaking of fat ass, I do need to be in a mental hospital. Good vibes. No. Now you look like S Jam. <laughs> oh, a four pack of bubblegum. Trees, that is still, you never have enough, you know. <coughs> Not go outside of the tourists. What if a hot guy is like, I want to take you on a little private cruise on the boat. I'll go. I don't care what you Oh my God. Say Egyptian guys are fucking hot. And Moroccan guys too. I want to go. Oh my gosh. Go to Japan with peace. That would be a fun I day. think she figured out. I think she figured out that it was easier for her to date like 
immigrants over there in Canada because it seemed like they were the ones that reached out to her because they always wanted money from her or move in with her, uh, get a green, not a green card, uh, get some, get residency or something. And, and, and she, when they couldn't get what they wanted from her, like Menden, whatever the hell his name was, motorcycle guy, she gave him $750, which could have been for, you know, gummies. We don't know. He could have been her weed guy. We don't know. We just know that every one of them, like Nader, scamming her for money. And then, then she went international. And then there was Salah. Like, it's the only ones that would bet her down. And then they wanted money. Do you guys think I'll meet a boyfriend there and go on a new fiance? No, but you sure were doing some naughty stuff over there in Cuba. It's a business trip. That's true. She did know she only had money to offer. Heard you can bribe cops with money down there. Welcome to Cuba. I'm not going to rely on people for comfort anymore. I'm going to be my own comfort. I'm going to become confident myself to travel myself. I'm and here you are in Kuwait. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Not relying on a man for comfort. Okie doke. Not afraid at all. You're petrified. I think I have an adventurous spirit. No, I'm not prepared for the seat and bathroom situation. I don't know what it's going to be like. I don't know. I, yeah, I'm going to like, I think I'm going to upgrade my seating. Can you go live on an airplane? No, don't cancel the Patreon. I'm keeping all social media. I'll be on a national. I phone. know. I, I am too, Stormy. Stormy said, I'm so surprised she never met someone with really evil intentions. Right. She even brought them to the townhouse, which you have a roommate, ma'am, Pete. She had no regard for putting Pete's in danger of her ridiculous antics for YouTube. Money did get to her head. She acted like a fool. Look at all the freaking Amazon boxes behind her. Oh, hi. I'm going to be in Cuba. When was the last time you uploaded on only fancy scammer? That's, it's coming. It's coming. And yeah, she kept blowing off the OnlyFans. I'm going to find a nice Cuban man to swindle you. I want to get a little... See? <laughs> little eeny teeny weeny beeny bikini. I'm going to buy a ham two piece, yeah. Cuban men are gorgeous. Don't excite me. For real? Really? That's what I saw too. Four ounces of lube because I only have an eight ounce bottle. I'm going to go... What? For now because I want to play Mario and like just unwind a bit. Okay, look at me sit right now. Do you think I'll fit? If you look at me sit. Measure me right now. Look at... Well, you're so sitting in a recliner. You're not sitting in a, like, a, a dining room chair. If you just sat in a dining room chair, that would have made more sense. To be able to see if you'd sit in an airline seat. Sit like this? No, I'm not going to fit on the plane. Look. I'm not going to... Moose knuckle. Fit? You like my nails? No. Okay. No. Total trash. I close my legs fully. I'm going to Cuba! Why don't you lose weight? Okay, and stop eating myself to death. Yeah, that's fine and dandy. But I'm going to Cuba Tuesday, Nurse Rachel. So... <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just lose weight? <laughs> okay, and stop eating yourself to death. Okay, well, I'm going to Cuba on Tuesday, Nurse Ra Rachel. That is funny shit. So, I'm sorry, but the lecture will have to wait. I do want two seats. If that's a possibility, I will get it. Well, my boobs have boobs. Oh my god, my boobs have boobs. <laughs> Oh my God, that is the best. Oh my God, my boobs have boobs. <laughs> Four boobs. <laughs> uh, can you get that removed? What is that called? It's called you're an alien. He sat beside me on a plane. I promise you would not be touching me. I don't allow that. Me either. You wouldn't sit next to me on a plane. You dumbasses are super chatting her death. Disgusting. What? Marie Pondu, calm down, Marie Pondu. Is that why she took on the name Marie Pondu? After that woman basically told her you shouldn't be sitting next to people on a plane, touch, getting into their space. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. <laughs> Blondie, luckily for me, it might be asinine, but being stupid. Yeah, Diamond Paw. The diamond, nothing compares to you, fat edition. Nothing compares to you. But it's not illegal. Okay, guys, I will see you later. Oh.
Oh, this one. All right, where are we going now? Cuba! She just arrived in Cuba, people. Oh, remember the confession? Because she was, like, freaking out she was in Cuba, of course. So she, you know, freaking out a little. <laughs> ah, raw and real, foodie beauty. Internationally, because I can't enjoy my fucking vacation until I make sense. I need to like tell you what happened, so you can tell me if I'm, I'm in the wrong here. I need to know if I'm in the wrong because I'm I'm being told that I'm in the wrong here. So let me tell you about the situation that happened this weekend, okay? And then you can tell me who's wrong. You tell me your side of the story. You tell me what you think, okay? Yeah, and I don't even care. I don't care. I don't care if we both go to jail at this point. I'm so fucking. I'm so out of my mind. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm so out of my mind, I don't even care. Yep, you look like you're out of your mind. It's gold. It's gold. The confessional. So, how about this? How about right. this? So, um, so, yeah, I knew he was moving or whatever, and, like, being away from him for a while was... She's talking about Nader, right? He moved to Montreal. Fine, fine, fine. Being away from him was fine. Actually, I was doing great. And then what happens with me with him is that, like, if I see him again or... Okay, like, so she'll be doing great, right? Just like when she doesn't watch reaction channels, she'll be doing great. But then her curiosity gets the best of her, right? So she's going over and watching Nader's video while he's living the domestic life with Dee Dee. The life she dreamed of gets her all fired up. Yeah, we're gonna be clicking those nails. Clicking those nails like a rocket. Like any kind of contact, like it's like ripping off a scab for me, you know? Uh-huh. So you mean when you filed the police report, right? And then the investigators, the Crown, were looking into after you uh, retracted the police report against Natter, uh, they looked into it and they were doing an investigation and they told Natter, don't have anything to do with her. You know, you you're you're legally Stay away from her. Or you could go to jail. But this one. Silly. Restraining orders. Shemaining orders. No, and he doesn't understand that because he doesn't have feelings the same. Like, that's obvious. I just confirmed that. So whatever. Anyways, okay. No, I can't breathe because I just don't. I don't want to deal with this shit anymore. It's like, he's, he fucking torments me behind the scenes and you don't see any of it. And him and... Okay, so he knows you're desperate. He takes advantage of that. Uh, he is able to mind control and manipulate your ass, and it makes you crazy. But he always gets money out of you when he does it, doesn't he? He's fine with, I don't know, bringing you over, laying you down for a few bucks, right? Isn't that how it went? He knew she was mentally deficient. Yes, Dot. And he took advantage of her. And Didi go online and they act fucking normal and make me look crazy. That's okay. So yes, we we did see it, but you're the only one that it made crazy. The rest of us were like, look at these two clowns pretending like they're in a relationship just to get back at foodie. We knew what he was doing. You're the one that fell for it every single time. That's what fucking happens every time. Every time. Just like we know what Salah's doing. What does he say? Just the right words you've always been longing to hear, but his actions tell you otherwise. Uh, yeah, sucker. I trust him again. He fucks me over again. Anyways, so you know what? You fucked me over the last time. I'm going to fuck you over now, okay? How about that? You never take accountability for anything you fucking do. I'm, so I was in contact with Dee Dee because we're not allowed to talk to Nader. So okay, so you're not allowed to talk to Nader. So you start talking to the other woman. Can you make that make sense for a second? Like, you're just saying that like it's normal. I'm trying to get to Nader. Dee Dee, please. I dropped the charges, Dee Dee, just like you wanted. I need to see Nader. That's what you were doing. So talking Don't act like a victim in this. Fucking Dee Dee as a fucking mediator. You know why? Because Nader can't have a friggin... Anyway, I'm not gonna... Yeah, he can't have contact with you because of you. Because I don't wanna like it. I don't, I don't wanna get reported. I'm telling what happened and I'm allowed to tell what happened. So, I'm not insulting anybody, I'm telling what happened. I wanted my friend's blanket like back. Like I want, like I just said basically, like I knew he was moving and he doesn't have any care for like people's things. And I said, hey, you know, like I, I don't really, you know, if, if you're gonna- You left, listen, stop. 
This is bullshit. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. I'm gonna, you know what? Calm down. Calm down. Listen here, Funkel Fester. You moved him and Didi to Montreal. Why didn't you claim your things as he packed your car? Why did your things go to Montreal with Nader? So stop yourself right there. You're the one that drove him to Montreal with Didi to move. If your stuff was in his house, your grandma's blanket, your blanket, your clothes, why did those things continue on to Montreal? Oh, that's right. I don't know. They must have took the bag out of the car. And um, I didn't even see that. Oh, stop it. They should have been in the front seat with you. So anyway, I need to arrange to come to Montreal to get my things from you. Getting on the fucking video chat, and like we were talking or whatever. And then okay, so the blurriness of her video is her in Cuba. She didn't have good reception. It was horrible, actually. For me to come get me shit, and then I ended up. We ended up talking, and he, I don't know if he trusted me, or whatever. But I ended up driving him to. Oh, so right, right, right. Oh, that's right. You went to Gatno to get your stuff, and you sat there and talked with them and hung out, and you ended up driving them to Montreal. That's right. That's right. My bad. Montreal. I drive them to Montreal. They're like, we're gonna pick up bottles of wine because Dee Dee drink. Ask her to show you behind her sink. She has like 800 fucking empty wine bottles. She doesn't sleep, she drinks wine all night. Okay, so when two weirdos, <laughs> especially Natter, who likes group, uh, group, you know what, uh, extra partners, let's just say. So they're like, hey, we're gonna pick up some alcohol. You wanna come party with us? It's kind of like P. Diddy asking you to come to his party. You say no. The, always the answer is no, I'm good. I'm going back home. So don't act like, don't act like <laughs> you had nothing to do with any of this. She does live in her own little world. She's always a victim or a hero. Either one, but nothing in between. Look up narcissistic triangulation. He's moved right the fuck on. Like, and I'm crazy. I know I'm crazy. I know I look crazy. I'm going to admit to you right now I'm crazy because just. Amen. She finally admitted it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not long ago, I messaged him that I want to move with him. Like, I, I'm like that with him. Like, I'm like one minute, I want to fucking destroy him. And then the next minute, because of everything he's done to me, like, I feel like I can't get past. Like, I don't know. Like, anyway. And then the next. It's called obsession. Just like your relationship with food. Once you become fixated on something, you will manipulate everyone and anything around you to fulfill your obsession. And then, then you're okay for a while, just like when you do a mukbang. Then you're kind of mad at yourself, right? Uh, Ma'am, they all go hand in hand. It's your addictions. Natter became your obsession and addiction. The end. In the next, next minute, I'm like in love. Like, I'm just obsessed. I don't know, like, my feelings are fucked. Like, and... For example, this weekend, he had no problem, and Didi too, had no problem with me risking him in the protective order, breaking the protective order to go to Gap. No, because um, he, they're swingers. They don't, they didn't care. They knew you wouldn't run your mouth because you were too busy making out with Didi. What? I don't get my shit when he's there. So basically like, I wanted to get like, I want privacy. I want a fucking privacy with him. So like. Yes, I've seen him again, so that like made me want to see him over and over and over again. Like I was like rehooked and I wanted to see him, so I wanted to get a hotel and I wanted to spend my birthday with him in a hotel. Bad, stupid, I know, whatever, fuck, whatever. It is what it is. That's what I wanted. And I love when you explain a story where you literally told everybody he abused you and you filed a police report on him. You never wanted to see him again. And I love when you tell a story. And everybody else is still at fault. And everybody's supposed to forget that this man dv and s a you. I, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, can you see the, you see this out of a child? Well, well, I know, um, I know I told you about this, but, um, anyway, it's their fault that I drove them to Montreal, took them to the liquor store. And then when I seen his face, I just wanted to go to a hotel with them. Just him and me behind, for my birthday, just me and him at a hotel room. And how dare you, Dee Dee? And he wanted to, I guess. He got in my car and we were driving away. Fucking Dee Dee, freaking calling, freaking out. Okay, let me tell you why Dee Dee was freaking out. 
because Nader would have went back to jail. Back to jail for even being in your car. So she's like, let's just do this here at my condo. <laughs> come back, Nader, come back, Nader. She's like, I'm going to the hotel, Chantel. She's like, no, you're not. Oh my God. So I'm, then I'm pissed, like you're lying to me. Obviously, if she's that invested, she's like gonna, she's, and the first- That invested? He moved into her condo with her. Does this make sense to you? That would be like, what if you and Nader got your own place together and then Dee Dee shows up? And you're like, how dare her? We're obviously together. We live together now. But when you hear this, how dare her? How dare Dee Dee? And threatening to talk to your harem about it and drinking wine. So we go back to her house. He so she was threatening to go on YouTube and tell um, everyone that Nader left with you, which would get him arrested. I'm gonna go back to her house. Anyway, like you have a fucking mom. You're like, this life you have. Oh, that's what gets me mad. What was wrong with your old life with me? Like, I don't. <laughs> what was wrong with your old life with me? I get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I can't live like this. It's going to destroy me. It's probably because of this kind of stuff you did. You're kind of like. You get a little, let's just say, who's that chick naked and laughing. You get a little nutty. You get a little nutty. Ha! <laughs> you remember? This is, yeah, this is why. This is why. Wait, me. Oh, yeah. And by the way, nice friend, Natter. So we get drunk all night. Uh, I don't even want to talk about what fucking happened. I don't want to talk about it. I <laughs> ah! Bring yourself to the words, darling. Come on now. You can do it. Why you told the whole world, I don't know. You do have a members only, you know. But anywho, anywho, go on, girl. Spill the beans. I fucking hate him so much. He fucking hides my phone from me all night. He got really... He hid his phone from you all night. Okay. Drunk and she got all pissed because he like was supposed to go see her mom at the group home with her and she's like Natter, you're not gonna do this to me. You're not gonna do this to me, Natter. And then like they got in a big fight and she's like, You're not gonna talk to me like you talk to her. Yeah, she yeah, he will, you fucking moron. Yeah, he will. Yeah, he hit my phone again all night. That night that I was there, he told me he loved me over and over. You tell me you love me, you want something with me, you were You actually think words mean shit when he moved an hour and a half away from you into a home with another woman. Oh, I love you. Come here. Take her by the hand. Come here. I love you. Get out of here. Crying. But then you fucking act different. Like you fuck with me. This is what happens. Like you can't fuck with people's emotions like that. You can't. <laughs> He's still messing with your emotions, by the way. You can't. No, you're not going to get away with it. No, this wasn't when she was drunk. This is when she first arrived. Uh, oh, drunk talk like him telling her he loves her. Probably just to get her to do something. It probably pretty easy to manipulate her when it comes when you if you're a man, like for real. Um, but this one in this moment, she had just got off the plane and was going to go to the beach, and then she got you know a little into herself, and she did all this. Uh, I'm really not doing this for drama. It's really destroying me. This is this is what doesn't make sense, and this is what why I'm crazy, and I'm doing this today. You motherfucker. The whole D is like, what about my feelings? I'm gonna be up all night drinking wine. <laughs> Sorry, but I kind of feel like if you drove them to Montreal, this was all about your feelings, and then stopped at the liquor store to get drinks, this was all about you. Think about it, foodie. It was all about you. Go fucking play with your fucking vibrator. And you cannot see her ears when she looks dead on at you. And that's why Nader called her Buffalo. And I never realized what that meant until uh, somebody told me. And now I can't unsee it. I just can't unsee it. You stupid fucking idiot. I know why Delphine had a heart attack. Yeah, you gave it to her. You have no problem with me coming over. When it's convenient for you to get a fucking ride back to Montreal because you're complaining that you had Duh. Duh. They used you. And then... <laughs> Next. Use all your money in Uber rides with Dee Dee. But then you So have... if he says, I used all my money for Uber rides for Dee Dee, will you give us a ride to Montreal so I can move there and live with her forever? And you you fell for that? 
I'd have been like, rent a horse. I don't give a shit. Clickety clack. You won't go take a hotel room with me because Dee Dee's crying and threatening to tell your harem that you're with me. So that was your expectation. You drove them there and you expected Natter to sleep in a hotel with you. How come you didn't like talk about that amongst the three of you before you drove them all the way to Montreal? Do you know what I'm saying? How do you always end up a victim of your own choices? I don't get it. Me? Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, Dee. Fuck you, Natter. Fuck you, Hera. Fuck you. Fuck you. You wanna fuck you? You can also fuck you. And it pisses me off. He's a fucking liar. I hate liars. The Natter, the idealized, doesn't fucking exist. Like my brain does. There you go. Ding, ding, ding. We just had a moment of clarity. The Natter I idealized. Yeah, from a Hallmark movie. <laughs> the international traveler. Right? Sexy man. What? Sexy man. We fall in love. Our love is all that matters. Yeah, quit lay, lay off the Hallmark movies. Brain doesn't compute that. Like from when I met him, I'm not alone. You need to start watching Romance Scammer. Busted. And even them dumb bitches still think it's real. I mean, Dr. Phil walks the guy out in the picture they were given or the female, the picture they were given from the scammer. He walks them out on stage in the flesh who literally says, that ain't me. That ain't me. I'm a model. I, 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 I don't know who's scamming you, but it's not me. I don't believe you. Like literally, this is the Delulu land some people live in, which is our entertainment. Thank you. I'm not a cheater. You were pretty comfortable eating Dee's pussy that night. Sweet mother of God, no. It is Good Friday. <coughs> we don't talk like that. <coughs> we do not talk like that on Good Friday. You have a... Weren't you? She's used to being with men like him. Like, she doesn't mind. Of course. Duh. Why do you think he's still with her? Make it make sense. You knew from the get-go he wanted you to hook up with other people. You still kept coming back for more. Then you're shocked when he brings it up again and Dee Dee's fine with it because Dee Dee to, Dee Dee's a swinger. How does this not make sense to you? You always think you can change a guy. Well, once he gets a taste of my loving, I'm gonna change him forever. That's what you thought was Salah too, right? Well, Salah let the whole world know you can't change him either. Yeah, hippity hoppity foodie's on her way. No, I don't have better things to do because my mind is cluttered with shit. You don't have your own fucking place and you never look because you're a fucking bum and you don't make anything on your channel anymore. Oh, you were going to rent a place for you and him. A cabin in the woods. I can't even imagine what that Freddy Krueger or Friday the 13th content would look like. Can you imagine her out in the woods, far, far away from any human, out there with Natter, McStabby? Are you nuts? She went, but you know what? She don't have any credit, so she couldn't do it. Then she wanted to rent a place in Montreal downtown for her and Natter. And her and Natter. Oh my God, I can't with this one. And you would have lived with him. Of course, you would have boxed a lot. It would have been gold. Work with your food sucks. Oh my God. It's so much harder to work in the wall apparently. I don't know why. How can I have feelings for someone like that? That's what I don't get. Like, why? I know. Hey, Capone. <laughs> I can't. This is what happens. Like, every time it's like a literal fucking addiction or something. Like, like Wow, if you could solve that, you'd probably solve your food problem. I don't know. It's like an addiction. If I only had another addiction to compare it to. How about food? There you go. My brain is fucked. I think I'm just, like, grieving it because I don't want it to be like this. I don't want him to live with her. It's supposed to be us. Even though Natter said the entire time, you're not my girlfriend. You're not my girlfriend. I'm single. I but be. remember this Jafar ring I bought? How embarrassing was that moment? We may have to go over that one more time. But anyway, he's like, what? Remember you were gonna like use this when you asked me to marry you? And he's like, what? <laughs> that was gold. To me, that idealized fucking relationship. This is how it's heading. No, I don't want to fuck with anybody. I can't let him fuck me over. I can't.
I can't. I have to be with him. This cannot be over. I can't accept it. It's like if she had to give up, I don't know, potatoes or rice, right? This is what we would see. But anyway, my point is, okay, so there are times when during the years that we felt sorry for Foodie, right? We have. There are times. I seen it in Mr. Snowflake's eyes yesterday. And somebody said, I don't understand how Mr. Snowflake could feel sorry for her. And I'm like, listen, listen, we've all been there. Okay, now we're desensitized because she uses this as a weapon and then she'll turn around and bite you right in the nose. She really will. Uh, so, Mr. Snowflake, we know that the whole Karate Joe thing is so disturbing and upsetting and it does make her look like a, uh, an apologist. Well, the truth is, she is. She is. Look at she's over in Kuwait after all the things, all the things Salah said about Christianity. Well, only if you're only if you're talking about Islam is it um, uh, important. But Christianity is not important. Nope. So he can say anything he wants in a vile, disgusting, violent, aggressive way. But we're not allowed to be angry about that. That won't hit the internet. But oh boy, oh boy. You say anything about his religion and oh, you're going to have to go into an underground bunker. Stop it. So anyway, um, Mr. Snowflake, we know you felt a little bad and then you, then you realize why you didn't. Because when she hurts people, she hurts them deep. She makes sure that you are disgusted and angry and hateful because that's what she lives for. I'm just saying. So... You'll get desensitized the more you research. So that's why we make comedy out of it, lightness out of it, and we show the truth. And we do it in a way where we we don't let her have our emotions anymore because we're desensitized. Can't. There's really nothing she could do that would shock me. Like I said, I could wake up with my head stapled to the carpet tomorrow morning and I'd be less Shut. I listen. I'd be more shocked than I would of anything that comes out of Foodie's mouth. No, oh, what's so great about him? I don't know. Oh, nothing. She's a sad older woman, drunk, who ignores her fucking mother, her daughter. I ignore my family, her fucking daughter. All right, I'm done with Natter. Let's move on. Oh, what fun family members did you ignore for Natter? I mean, we know who you ignored for Natter: Pete, Grandma, Christmas with mom. Yeah, we know. We knew. We know. We know. I don't care if I get in trouble for seeing him. I don't care if I get in trouble. I don't. She don't get, she don't care if he goes to jail. When, when, when baby wants to see somebody, she's going to see them. Before everything happened. Like, I, I was like, I'm so done with his ass. And baby told me, you're going to one day be in that, in Dee's fucking bed with them. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, I hate myself right now. I hate myself. I'm about to tell you. I'm about to tell you. Listen, you never listened to BB when you were with him. Why listen to him now? He looks so wrong. I know. It would be so easy if she would just realize that Pete's is her soulmate. I mean, it really would. It, it really would. I mean, everybody knows it. She knows it. I don't even know if Pete's is that. I mean, I feel like does Pete still have a little bit of, an, does he have animosity yet? Or is he just love her so much? She, like, like she loved Natter. Does Pete's love her like she loved Natter? She never seen anything bad about him. You know what I'm saying? I gave everything of myself to him. And I know Dee Dee's doing the same thing. And I, I fucking sympathize with her at one point because I know what, uh, no, I don't sympathize with her. Oh, after you crawled into bed with her, now you don't sympathize with her? <laughs> Come on, Dee Dee misses you. Come on now. Like his video, New Start. What was wrong with you? What was wrong with your old life? Like, what, what? Paying your rent was fucking tough for you? When I was getting my clothes, there was some fucking random bitch's bra on the ground. I don't know who the fuck that was. And then now you wonder why I'm fucking mad. Because you fucking tell me you love me and you lie to me. Okay. He tells you he loves you to get money out of you and get you to do stuff. Like a threesome, like drive him to Montreal. Oh my God, how much money did you cash at this fool? You're the fool. I pulled around Dee Dee, but. Uh -huh. 
Brrr, fooled around with Dee Dee. Why? 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 Like, he wasn't, like, doing anything. Uh, you know, I don't want to talk about it. I was fucking psychologically scarred from doing that. The whole experience. Oh, it ain't your first time. You literally jumped in a cab to go have a threesome with strangers on the internet. Literally, you seeked them out. So don't pretend like you're this wholesome, domesticated woman. Knock it off. You're always trying to change. You are up to all kinds of nefarious stuff in the background. Experience fucked me up because, like, he knows how I feel about... That's the thing. He knows how I feel about, like, certain... In other words, you didn't want to share him with anybody. That's it. Even though you knew he was into... He was not monogamous. Being sexually still Same thing with Salah. Same thing with Salah. Obviously. Pressure's the money, like... I don't know, Chantelle, it is because I'm fucking stupid. That's why I went over there. I'm stupid. I, because I fucking love, I love him. There. Well, the only thing that happened at the threesome was she's in love with Nader, and she thought if she drove him to Montreal and did this for him, that she would be the pick-me. And it didn't happen. He's like, no, go to Cuba. I don't care. This is my home now. And that made her nuts. So she sits in Cuba in a hotel room, all alone, freaking out. <laughs> um, not well. I don't want to, I don't want to go to jail. He literally like pushed me into the room. Oh, you meant the other threesome? Yeah, the only thing that came out of that is they were, uh, she showed up drunk, acted like a fool, and uh, she was not what she portrayed herself to be in the picture, and uh, they weren't interested. So she went in their bathroom and she threw up and crept all over their bathroom. The end. And she was like just laying on bed ready. And I was just like, oh my God. <laughs> and I was so drunk and I like threw up right after. <laughs> but what you left out, which I found fascinating, because of course you're gonna leave stuff out. You always leave stuff out. As long as you come up the hero or the victim, you leave stuff out. What you didn't admit, which you admitted in another live stream, is you actually, like, totally engaged yourself. Like, you made out with her. You made out with Dee Dee. For real. And I was really sick, and he still didn't care. Like, that's the thing, he didn't care I was sick. He got so mad at me. Like, I went on the couch, because I didn't want to sleep in the bed with them, because it was fucking crowded, and I felt sick. I went on the couch to sleep, so I could go home. He came in and pulled me by the arm into the bedroom. Like, what is it about me that he feels like he can fucking abuse me? No problem, but her, no. It's driving me nuts, and I just feel so alone, and he won't talk to me. Because he's like, oh, he won't talk to you now. I can't, but then he can when I drive him to Montreal. Because he said, I can't talk to you. I have a restraining order, remember? But then he ignores me when it's convenient for him, and then he wonders why I freak out. I can't sit there and watch them be so fucking fake and play house. And That's what's driving her nuts. Because she wanted to live with Nader and play house. <laughs> yeah, why, right? Why omit it? I don't know. Because it makes it look like they abused her. That they took advantage of her. As if she was m like a mindless human. Ugh, be happy or like fake happy or just ignore me when I'm so fucking miserable. You know? I want you to acknowledge my fucking feelings. To think that he never loved me is what hurts the most. Like, and yet, you guys can understand that, like... We, uh, we knew he didn't love you. We tried to tell you, but you don't listen to anyone. Yeah, can you imagine this being the same rager when she gets home to uh, Canada after the breakup from Salah? Oh, trust me. Trust me. But you love somebody so much and they just say it was all not real? I think I'm so fucking... You have to ask yourself, what exactly did you fall in love with? Like, for real, you gotta ask yourself that. The idea, the idea of, of it is what you fell in love with. You didn't fall in love with the idea of being married to Pete because he was engaged to you. You didn't like, you didn't fall in love with the idea of spending the rest of your life as a wife to BB, who just went to work, came home, just unwind in the evening, playing his games. No, you are performative and histrionic, and so is Natter. That's what you fell in love with. He challenged you. He made you, your emotions all over the place. 
Yeah, that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing, sweetheart. Fucking manic or something. Well, I lay in a hotel room in Cuba crying about a fucking bum. And a fucking Chris Farley look away. Gross. <laughs> Chris Farley. I hate myself. <laughs> He knew I never would. He knew I hated that. He knows I hate that. He still fucking asked me. You know that hurt me. So, uh, okay, let's make this make sense, foodie. So he abused you by asking you to do something you didn't want to do, which has happened before. That's why you filed the police report on him. And yet you put yourself in a situation again to do something you didn't want to do, but because it didn't end up with you winning the prize, as you want to call it, uh, you're sitting in Cuba losing your shit. Yeah, and leave Chris Farley alone. <laughs> Rest in peace, Chris Farley. Louis Gossett Jr. died. Rest in peace, Louis Gossett Jr. Leave it. He's like, I'm just going to call and tell her I'm going. And I told her that. She's like, no, you're not. Wait, his fucking mother? See, she wanted to go to a hotel with him so she could convince him that she's the one. Just come, get in the car with me, Nader. Come back to me. I'll get us a place you'll never want for anything. Please don't stay there. And not, and Dee Dee knew it. Dee Dee did not want him to be alone with her because she could dangle the money. She could dangle the money. These women, I can't believe either one of them fought over this. This is great. He could get in trouble, Chantal. I don't want him to get in trouble and go to jail. But you have no fucking problem with me coming to Gatlin, you dumb idiot. Right? You're an idiot, you know that? Is it your hair color or the pixie cut? I don't know. Or maybe the eight bottles of wine. Maybe <laughs> Never gonna let it go. She put up with so much shit for 10 years with her ex. Horror, worse than what he's done to me. So no, there's no hope. It's fucking, there's where So wait a minute. You wanted Dee Dee out of the picture so you could have Nader who abuses people, abuses people. Wow. And here Dee, Dee is two years later, still with them. I don't think the two of you would have lasted a month. Not a month. She's by herself. She's a wino. She's desperate. And if she fucks shoes you, her shoes you. Uh, you're desperate. You went to Dee Dee's, crawled in her bed. Pay attention to what you're saying. Fuck. You fucked me over, so here you have it. So what's more risky, guys? What's your opinion? Gatto or what I did? But I'm literally psychotic. I definitely need, like, psychiatric help. Yeah, you've needed psychiatric help for quite a few years. But let's just keep ignoring it. And let's just, you know, head to Kuwait. I was not going to tell you guys this. Like, I was not going to, but... Yeah, but you couldn't help yourself, which is why we love you so much. Thank you. I have no impulse control when I'm at. What I'm doing is not right, but I don't know what to do. I'm desperate. I'm like, I'm desperate. <laughs> Salah probably watched this one. Oh, good. I got a desperate one that can get me to Canada. He feels like I want justice. Like, I don't know. I don't know justice, but like, my right. Like, he always says, I don't like unloading and loading on my friends. It's annoying. Always the same thing. Well, he blew off your mother. You're like, you're not going to just. She was flipped out and was like, she asked me to take him back to Gatineau. She's like, when I get back from my mother's, I want him gone. You're not going to disrespect my mother like this. While you're visiting your. Oh, bull. She did not say that. She did not say that. So uh, the next morning, uh, Dee Dee was like, everybody go to sleep. Nader, we have to go see my mom tomorrow at the nursing home. And you're going, Nader. And then Nader didn't go. And neither did Chantal go home. So guess what happened while she was visiting her mother? Visiting her mother? We had sex in her bed. Boom! The purple mattress! The purple mattress. How was that nice? And he told me he loved me. And that's why I'm fucked up today. And I did, and I lied about not being with him. Because I can't be with him legally. So that's why I lie about it. If I'm desperate to, to see him and I don't want people to know, I will lie for it. I would, would lie. We know. About it, yeah. It's his ass on the line. That's the only fucking reason he cares. He doesn't give a fuck that I'm crying here about him. In another but you want him to fall in love with you after you filed a police report on him. And then you want to see him while he's got a restraining order from the court against seeing you. Make that make sense. You tried to punish him and then he's trying to not get put in jail, but you don't care because when you want to see him, you want to see him. I can't with this one. I mean, t I, honestly, she's just too dangerous.
in another country. Maybe that's what's going on with Salah. Maybe she knows something about Salah and she's threatened to go to the government about it. Oh, could that be a nugget? Is she holding something over Salah's head? You know, she'll find out your deepest secrets and then she'll use them against you. Oh my goodness. You just don't want Didi to have him. Of course I didn't want her to have him. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he told her he loved her and he probably asked for 300 bucks. And she gave it to him. Trust that. I really need to rest. I didn't sleep. I don't think they have room service here. I, I definitely feel like I'm in a third world country and I don't like it. I'm sorry. Oh, let's see how much she didn't like Kuwait. Or Cuba, I mean. Oh, there she is at the buffet. <laughs> it's like Tommy Boy vibes. <laughs> Speaking of Chris Farley, I can't with her. Uh, oh my God. Dark, nasty energy. I was meant to go on this trip, and I think the God wants me here. That sounds bad. But even just Chris, I told God to stop off yesterday. Um, not alcohol. I'm not going to drink alcohol for the remainder. So one day, she tells God to F off. The next day, she finds God. God wants me here. I found God here. Then the next day, she goes full on demon seed. I love it. Only Chantel can cycle like that in 24 hours. I made her up the trip because it puts me in a depressive. So I have somebody come into my room at like 10.30 tonight. Nader, are you watching me in Cuba? I got somebody coming to my room. I know, but you know, you didn't move in with me. So I guess I got to move on. No, you just look like a tramp. Get out of here. Do some soul searching. I need to go have some drinks like right now. It's like 9 09. Let's go get drunk. I need to be drunk. I can't do this sober. Go get a drink from Alejandro and then go say hi to Louis and then come back for. Is that how you ended up in bed with Didi? You had to get drunk. So now you're in Cuba in order to get drunk or in order to have a guy come up to your room that you never met before. Is this the guy she ended up giving her laptop to that may or may not have uh, the videos or whatever connected to the Sam's Bar Lounge channel, perhaps. And we already know there was an investigation into the Sam's Bar Lounge channel because people called the police. And then I, am, I guess Nader has the full videos and he's gonna, when all this court stuff's over, he's gonna release in their entirety of what the girls were telling him to do. And he was doing it, it was role play. Blah, 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 blah. So everybody thinks that if Sam's Bar Lounge was Chantal's channel, right? And she edited all those that were sent to her from, you know, two, two or one woman uh, were sent to her and she edited them down and muted out the voices in the background because you heard other voices. They were just muted. Um, anywho, and made that channel to destroy Nader, which would make sense. Uh, that would be her cup of tea. Uh, but in the end, it always comes back to bite her because apparently the real videos are out there and are going to be released. So we're kind of waiting for those. <laughs> yeah, I've been saying it was her from day one. You know, I was saying it was her too. Yeah. And that, the mysterious lap. Why would she take a laptop uh, to, she never used the laptop once over there. And then she gave it to a complete stranger before she left. <laughs> it's like burying a body in Cuba. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> wow. <laughs> to be interested, so I'm not allowed to be interested in a man. Hey, you're fucking stupid. Get out of here, moron. I fucking love men from other cultures. Big deal. It's a preference of mine. It's what turns me on and too bad. Even if it was a fetish, so what? So she don't, she has fetishes too, if you didn't know. You know, with Salah. You're sick. I didn't even know this about you. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. You sure did. Which would probably explain why you went from Catholic to another religion, right? Because you know how he feels. I, I don't know. There's something about that. I don't want to go backward. I want to keep going forward. So yes, I agree. I want to keep going forward. And I'm so in love and I think I want to marry him and bring him in and his son to Canada. <laughs> So there was a guy you met in Cuba, a worker at the resort, 
right? Is he the one that brought you the cake? The whole cake for your birthday? Not sure, not sure. Uh, but you in love, you're gonna marry him and bring him to Canada. Okay. So did Salah see this part? Maybe. I'm not going to Bed Creek. I'm staying up to go and play and I'm staying up all night because I did. Okay, so, uh, where's my vagina? Oh, here it is. Wait. <laughs> oh, that's right. She was sending a JJ pic. She sent a JJ pic. And to somewhere, I can't even remember. Good God. It's actually pretty impressive. She was able to pour from that high when she was drunk. But does he know you call me when he sleeps? Oh, the only fans I have a really good. Does he know you call me when he sleeps? Nader was keeping you on a hook, wasn't he? Cool post. Oh, she posted it. What did she post it? To her OnlyFans? Or did she... <laughs> this was my favorite little hat she had. It really was adorbs. I'm married, actually. I'm going to marry this guy because he's so nice and he loves me. No, I know. She wasn't that drunk. She would slur. Then she wouldn't slur. She would be alert and pretend like she wasn't. I don't care if he fakes love me because he's nice. I don't believe him. I'm fucked up. Oh, I gotta leave this guy in Cuba. How am I gonna leave him? Lemon and cheese. Ooh, that really, really should have been bigger. Guess what, right, Mr. Relish Man? It's not fair. Am I insane? Why is it not fair? Your channel's gonna be deleted for hate speech. Oh, nub nub. Oh. Isn't that fitting? You're on a one week suspension for hate speech. How do you care? How much do you care about your channel? Hold on. Let's hear that again. It's not fair. Your channel's going to be deleted for hate speech. <gasps> Did you see how crisp and clear her speech was? When she read something that, you know, she wasn't doing her performance? Let's watch again. Uh-huh. Am I insane? Why is it not fair? Your channel's gonna be deleted for hate speech. Oh, nub nub. Oh, well, good well, good riddance then. Good riddance to me. I need Jesus, no. Oh, bless her heart. Yeah, did you catch that? There were plenty of those instances where she read something and she read it crystal clear. So it was all performative. It was all performative. Mm-hmm. So she could act her anger out and blame it on alcohol, I believe. That's just what I believe. I'll tap it back. Oh, nub nub. Oh, well, good. Well, good riddance then. Good riddance to me. I need Jesus. No, you people need Jesus. Oh, I have Jesus, sweetheart. That's why I don't act like you. That's why my head is not this a freaking episode of Sybil. Like, because of Jesus. But you go on, girl. Here. Here's to you. Oh. Boundaries, which means I'm protecting my energy. As you can see, okay? Because I don't have very much positive energy right now. Nice person you are. So you know what? Sit on it and rotate. It's nice and pointy and new for you. All of these people who are beneath me are not going to get any more of my energy. And if I'm too tired to get groceries and I want to order out, I will. It's my fault. That's why you don't get my energy. In life. But I mean, I don't come for people like I'm the nice person. Don't come for people. Get out of here. <laughs> Why am I being ridiculous right now? Will you catch a disease for me? Are you going to tell everybody that you really like me or what? Well, you're fucking stupid idiots. What? <laughs> I not. Aren't you going to tell everybody you really like me? What's that? You stupid idiot. Oh, my God. This one. Oh, my God. I thought you had a Frank and Beans for a minute. I thought that was Frank and Beans, but it's the Fupa. Come in between. <laughs> that's, a, that's the Fupa. I was like, oh my. Oh my, she got Frank and Beans. No, that's the Fupa. Hold up. The Frank and the Beans. I thought that was Frank and Beans. <laughs> No, no, no boys, no boys, just, just the Amazon, no boys, no, no, get down, get down.
Come on now, let's just say Amazon. Oh, thank you. Thank you for being a good boy. Pain in the butt. And no, it's not my Amazon. I've been behaving. All my frivolous money goes into my budget planner. It's not my Amazon who lied to her. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. She was very active, yes. She was very active. So why, why do you like her more than me? I'm cooler. Starfish, I don't care if he has crooked teeth. Everything else about him is straight. Wait. What? Her, just still obsessing over Natter. You think I'm less of a person because I can't walk as far as you? Fuck, bitch. I'll walk two steps and be more of the woman than you'll ever be. Suck my- Look at that hair. This one, she was drinking all that wine. This is the 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 night of the you uh the pumped up kicks. Left guns. <clears throat> Say you love me. Where's my thumbnail? Say you love me. Where's my thumbnail? Are you gonna tell everybody that you really like me or what? Well, you're fucking stupid idiots. You don't know our history. You don't know what we're like. You don't know us. <laughs> to make out with somebody. And I'll always make more money than you. Get over it. <laughs> How's that working out for you now? <laughs> the universe, wow, wow. That's crazy when you look at the flashbacks and how cocky she was with the money she made. Now look at her. Oh my gosh. Ooh. If you love me, you would go live right now and say you love me. If you don't, because you think I'm crazy. <laughs> yeah, Nader did think she was crazy. He told her, remember when Salah said you need to see mental health doctor? <laughs> hey, hey, yeah! Okay. <laughs> Enjoy Dee my sloppy seconds. I'm sure you'll love them the most. I don't know if I want you guys to see my old face. I really don't think anyone's interested in me sexually, which makes it hard to do OnlyFans. What changed this time? I've just had enough. There's still Moscato in it with dead fruit flies. Just a very... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bottom of my bag. Do not touch My football lifted this thing. Now remember, foodie, because I know you say people are haters and uh, reaction channels, you know, they just living in the past. You put this stuff out there for entertainment. And now because you deleted it because you're trying to pretend. Like, listen, if you still weren't raging and ranting and doing all your obnoxious stuff, first of all, you wouldn't be on a one week ban. And second of all, if you are, and second of all, you would not be still raging and ranting if you had changed. You're putting on a show again. But we have to. People love the fupa. He ate it from the back. Basically, I'm just trying to go viral. Liar, 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 liar. That was a truth, Barry, right there. Basically, I'm just trying to go viral. That's it. She's been trying to go viral forever. Liar, liar, liar. You can't stop me from talking about my truth. Over four thousand dollar mattress. Unless she gets a new one, we'll always have my DNA on it. <laughs> well, now, never mind. Uh, I ruined your mattress. I don't need to tolerate. They sleep on the couch now. Let's just be honest. Are you? You don't need to tolerate me. You don't have to be here at all. I think I'm an empath. Like I think to some degree, I am an empath. You think you're an empath? That's gold. Because empaths tend to become addicted to narcissists. I'm not an empath, Luca. Not true. That is a false statement. They are manipulated, not obsessed, manipulated. Uh, are you telling me internally how I feel about people? Like, you know something? I do have a lot of friends. I'm very sociable, very likable, or else I wouldn't have 90,000 fucking followers. And obviously, she thinks her followers are her friends. Okay. Sleep when I was with him, yeah, I don't want, I want to defend him and lie for him. Yeah, that was my bad. You know what I discovered about this fucking asshole? The more you care about him, the more he uses it against you. <laughs> That's called the fish is on the hook. That's what they call it. That's what scammers call it. And then they pass your phone number out to their friends, which is how you probably met Salah. Ding, 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 ding. It's called a network. It's you. Yeah, I'm understanding all the girl what happened and now I can't breathe. I'm going through a really hard time. Shut up and leave. I'm obviously not an empath, but... Well, obviously, you're not an empath. Exactly. 
I, mean, I don't know. That's that's the, maybe the reason I was trying to make sense of why I was so addicted to him, and that's the only thing when I was listening to the narcissist talk in that interview that made sense for me. Keep tr- okay. So here's your problem when you listen to anything. You don't listen to it, kind of like when you took the shahada, the oath to become a Muslim. You didn't actually research it. You didn't do the five pillars. Um, you 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 did nothing, except I'm a Muslim. Look, I got a Quran. Yay, and I got a video to prove it. Right. Um, that's kind of the way you approach life. When you want to associate something with you, you don't look up uh, borderline personality disorders, the traits of, none of that. You don't do any of that. You always look up stuff you can use against other people or and mostly use against other people or you pluck out what you feel you want to identify with. That's a problem, ma'am. Keep trying, losers. You're so mad. What? Whatever. Whatever. I have a brain. It's not made of broccoli like yours. I have to just focus on myself for the next few months. Yeah, yours is made out of French fries, potatoes, and rice. What's that, Lisa? Actually, I'm going to come on here every day and talk about whatever the fuck I want. And if you don't like it, fuck you. You're dirty. You're trailer park trash. You tried to fuck matter. Bring your kid to Canada. And because he didn't give you the green pea, now you're trying to out Didi because you're jealous. You're a snake. Have a seat. And- Boom. And that's where I think she got the video was from that person right there gave her those videos to prove to her that she was against Dee Dee. And that's when I think that Sam's Bar Lounge came to fruition. And I hope you fucking get what's coming to you too. Pig mad. I look better than every fucking reaction. Name a reaction channel that's better looking than me. None. <laughs> uh, have you seen Sha- Shakira tra- transformation or whatever? <laughs> There's one. <laughs> There's one right there, sweetheart. There's so many. There's so many. Eerie. Yeah, eerie. Uh, Funkle Fester. Oh, absolutely. Beautiful. Beautiful, tall, thin, blonde woman. There's so many. So many. None. They're all fucking fugly. So shut the fuck up. Okay, so here I'll tell you all about the guys I'm dating. Okay. And what I like about each one. All right, let's go. Okay, let's go. This. Oh my God, the God. Nader, are you listening? Nader, are you listening? I'm going to tell you about all my men. All my men, Nader. I in the hotel last night. I was like, what's your name again? <laughs> I'm, I need to turn off my phone. All these hot men message on the weekend, and it's so dim. Oh my god. Key. Yeah. Actually, name a reaction channel that isn't better, even in personality, better than you. Your personality sucks. Sucks. Your personality sucks. <laughs> Oh my god, I pro- Hell, and then you got Pulpy, Adorbs, Alex is Shook, Adorbs, right? Uh, Mr. Snowflake, Chef's Kiss. You know what I'm saying? Stop. Probably have the deepest crack of all people on the planet. I'm not even He just doesn't even seem to care about what he's doing. Just keeps drilling it. I'm doing a glow up with regards to my partners as well. Another thing I like to do is put a little bit of lube just on the inside. <laughs> You're disgusting. I mean, really, it's my channel, so I make the rules. So anyone who complains about what I talk about can be fucking banned forever. Oh, no, no, no. We're not complaining at all. In fact, you're the one complaining about all the things you talked about. Am I wrong? Did you not accuse Mr. Snowflake of making things up when all he does is use your words like the rest of us do? And then when you're in really serious trouble, we show you how concerned we are, right? Right? We don't know why. Your own, mo- your, listen, your own family don't, okay? Neither does Pete. Pete's turns a blind eye now. So the people in your real life don't even care. And here we are, the reaction channels. We were worried about you when you were doing all those drugs just to get Nader to, uh, to stay with you. What is wrong with you? You're like, you're like a ball of clay. Can be molded into anything. Look at you over there in Kuwait. When this is who you are, this is your true, raw and real personality, and nobody's ever going to change that. No religion, nothing's ever going to change that. Ever to never, never land. 
Pete the, didn't even remember it was her birthday. She literally had to tell Pete on his live stream. She texted him and says, you know, it's my birthday. And then he, so he would say happy birthday on his live stream. So he didn't look like he walked away. That's why. That's the only reason she texted him. He didn't even remember it. Mm-hmm. And by the way, loser, obsessing about me just because you're mad and making bullying videos is against terms of service. So, uh, you just found that out, didn't you? So when you bullied, uh, you know what I'm going to believe? It's funny how you got taken down right after you bullied Kalari. <laughs> she must have one hell of a support group. So you should be careful of who you pluck out of the internet uh, to drag and put down because some of them may have a big support system that was able to shut you up for seven days. I'd tread lightly when you come back because the next time you get taken down, terminated, YouTube is not going to give you your channel back. Bloop. So good luck with that. I don't, look at this. Look at this horse face. No, 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 no. no. All of you have gappy teeth. Get out of here. I can't wait for everyone to get their karma. What am I going to get karma for? I hear people say. Jeez. Listen to your words. You, did you look at the universe working with you, smarty pants? Is that right back to me? You being all sassy like this all the time came back to bite you, didn't it? You picked on the wrong one once again. Kalari's very special to people. So, uh, you thought that would just be YouTube content. I guess you should tread lightly. All of us are growing support. It's so hard. I just wish people understood. It's cut off all circulation. Oh my God. Oh my God, Chantal, come on. <laughs> this is funny. This really is funny. I don't know where you got that bra, but I think I need one. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you are crazy as a loon. Look at this place. She has no problem. I mean, we got salad dressing and stuff on the table. I can't with her. I, unbelievable. She never put anything away. Everything is just everywhere all the time. Neither one of them cleaned. It was just so disgusting. Oh, my God. She used to mop her carpet. Yeah. Oh, my God. Look at <laughs> Now listen to the scale. Look at her body. I want you to take a second and look at her shape compared to Kuwait. I want you to look at her shape. I want you to look at her shoulders, her arms, how she's standing, which is straight up and down. She ain't leaning back. I want you to listen to the weight. Body weight is 340 pounds. Do you like my beefy biceps? 340. What's the status, babe? Set? 340. And she was trying to make us believe in Kuwait when she went into that office and did the scale thing and everybody's like, she's leaning on the bookcase, that she was 360. Get out of here. This is an amazing fucking fat ass that I just want to be. I believe they were not at um, a clinic. They were at the Unicity like a unicity thing. Like, you know how Weight Watchers will have you weigh in and stuff? Because when you get weighed at a doctor's office, the nurse weighs you and stands right next to you with a clipboard, right? But that's the U.S., I don't know. Or the doctor um, confirms the weight. They don't let you just go stand over there by yourself and scream the weight to them. The bees. <laughs> I'm having these four photos. So all I need to determine now is what to dip them in. Ew. Here's the Funkle toes. Is that nail polish, ham color, or is her toenails brown from the beatus? Nobody knows. 
It looks like there's a little chip. In, oh, I can't look at him. Stop. Do you know what the best thing ever is? Is when you're freaking taking edibles and then you realize that you have snacks. Mm. I have a trophy, man. <laughs> Menden. Menton. Menton. That was his name. Menton. This is the guy that says, you're my girlfriend. And she went live. I'm a, I'm a trophy wife. I, I, I have a boyfriend now. And then when everybody found Menton, boom, he dumped her the next day. He blocked her. <laughs> Breakfast? No? Okay. Is, okay, listen, I get it. It's kind of like 90 Day Fiance. Look, it's a big world. I mean, I'm bound to find somebody outside my own country to fall in love with. Somebody get <laughs> Kuwait. Wait, will I? Who knows how many married men I've slept with? They don't tell me. How am I supposed to know? No, I had sex four times with a married man today. He said... She flexed that stuff. Uh, remember the guy that had three kids? Yeah, she called them three little black bastards is what she called them. Anywho, um, and she don't care. I mean, if you don't tell me, it, this guy told her he was married and his wife was over in Turkey waiting to come to Canada. Oh, I can't even imagine why you would hook up with a Canadian. Go figure. He says, okay, so. All right, fine, I won't see him anymore. No, I don't think they're in a happy marriage or something. I just want to be able to just fucking talk about whatever I want to. I don't want to have to be vague and careful about what I say. You're ugly on the outside because you're ugly on the inside. Fuck you. Yeah, he was a good talk. He was good. He was hot as fuck. And besides which, we don't even know their relationship at all. You're not going to come in here and bees and disrespect me and peace anymore. It's not. <laughs> Look at her. She get all dressed up and act like that. Look at McDonald's over here with the receipt from the Uber Eats. Thank you guys for the orders in the Etsy store. I appreciate it. Uh, down here, look, at we got snacks up here. We used to play Where's Waldo in her room. She used to have Panair containers up there on the top cupboard. <laughs> she would have KFC in the drawer. Yeah, she looked like a Jersey mob wife. Yeah, she did. She did. She looked like the curtains in a mob house. It's all velvet. It's not gonna happen. I'm telling you, lawyer up. You think I'm playing? I'm not. None of you have seen my vagina. I've seen hers. I was down there, so I get to. Condiment, mustard. She's talking about Dee Dee once again. Still can't get over Dee Dee. Say that it fucking made me want to throw up. So I went down on Dee Dee. Salam alaikum. Hello, God. And here's when things changed. Oh my gosh. Oh my, big Ange, right? Look, you know what? This is when, here we are. Here we are. Hello guys, welcome, welcome. This is very surprising, I'm sure for a lot of you guys, and it's not a live stream. I'm trying this out in all honesty because you know that I have been very overwhelmed with a lot of attention in general, I guess, that I'm getting online. I know that I need to have some negative with the positive. I know that I will be re forever remembered for my rages. There's room enough. There's room enough. Wow. She did that because of all the negative attention she was getting online. Out of her mouth. She didn't say, I've been studying. What a fraud. Trying it out. I'm just going to try this out with my false eyelashes and my long turtle nails and my French, my fries tattoo. Ha! Ah! Notice how in the beginning she wore it correctly and showed her chin. Yeah. Listen, that, that Spanx. You know how you ever watch people make videos where they buy like a big bag of the, the, you know, the hardcore rubber bands, right? And they put a watermelon on the table. They just keep adding the rubber bands until finally that last rubber band and the watermelon goes. That's where we're at. That's where we're at, people. That's where we're at. We're, we're, we're down to the last few rubber bands. Just saying, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> before she became scuba foodie. Right, right. Mm -hmm. The video, video before the hijab was the most put together she had ever looked. True. Yeah. Nobody stops foodie. No family member. No, they, you know, they got a life to live, okay? If you've been dealing with that shit for 30 years, at some point you're just going to go, just let her spin. I, I just can't anymore. We've tried. We've done everything that we could do. And now, you know what? We, we, we just got to go live our life. If she explodes on camera. Right, right. That last rubber band, right? Right. <laughs> so anyway, our girl's either on a seven-day suspension or she went back to Canada and she may or may not, like, she just taken a break because she's all in her mentals because she may have gotten kicked out. Hell, she could be sitting in a Kuwaiti jail on the floor pissing in a drain. Nobody knows. But rumor has it, she's on a seven-day ban. But the person that started the rumor, I'm not sure. I'd need proof. I'd need proof that um, she is uh, not hiding in Canada until she's ready. Could be a medical emergency. True that. Many, many things. I mean, the only thing that leans us towards seven-day ban is she got a bullying, uh, you know, and harassment um, hit from the YouTubes. That's it. That's all we know, which is why we're leaning towards a seven-day ban. And she never, ever, she would be doing community posts if she could from a hospital bed. I'm saying, uh, she does not, or dropping pre-recorded videos because she never lets the end of the month go. She's not on Twitter either. She's not on the Tiki Talks. No. Uh, yes, Georgie. Yep, yeah, I'm aware. Yeah. That's what took MGL out for good. Yep. But Chantel's channel's still there, so. So I'm sure when she comes back, she'll have to learn how to rein in her rage. I, um, this all happened right after she went after Kalari. Yeah. Looks like Kalari's got one hell of a support system. Team Kalari! Team Kalari! <laughs> Team Kalari! If she banned in YouTube, I think she would go to Twitch. I would think so, too. For a live rage. That's why I'm like, hmm, something's off. Because she would be on the Twitch. She's got a gaming channel over there. Um, Miriam Plays Games, right? That's the name of it. Nothing. Crickets. Why wouldn't she be on Twitch? She can make money on Twitch. So that makes me think differently. Right. Remember, she said she couldn't get into her Twitch. What? She can't get into her Twitch? Make a new one. Ha! She can't get into the Merriam Plays Games Twitch? What a ding, man. I don't know, Xena Juice. Could be the sugar foot. Something about her old phone. Oh! She can't go on the couple's channel. Nope. She can't. She'll get completely terminated. It'll be interesting to hear her special spin and why she's been gone. <laughs> Would she tell the truth? Listen, I was over on the Twitter going, you know, day one of the seven day hostage situation because Foodie put me on a week off of YouTube for no reason. Karma's a bitch. Anyway, um, so I did like every day what I was doing. It was kind of fun. I made it fun. I really did. And you, you know, I'll always be on the Twitter or on the Twitch if anything goes down on my channel. If you can't find me here, you're like, where'd No Madness go? That's where you go. No Madness Life, both places. 
Why can't she go on the couple's channel? Because it's connected to her. It used to be her Beezer Show channel. She took the subs that were uh, gathered for the Beezer Show, changed the content, and kept the subscribers so she could monetize right away. But if she goes on there, it's connected. And they will, like, that's what happened to Katie, MFW. She was on a one-week ban, and she went over to her other channel, Drama Live, to go live and tell everybody that she, her main channel was on a... And people reported her, and it took all her channels. All three. Bye. You don't play with YouTube like that. They don't even play like that. She could go on Salah's gaming channel if it's not connected to her. Thank you, Mandrews XL. It's called a ban evasion, right? She's not supposed to even be on YouTube. When they tell you to shut up for a week, you shut up. You can't even change your banner which you've done twice. You cannot put a community post. You can't go around and comment under videos. You can't do nothing. You can't be in people's chat. None of the above. They even warn you too. So let's say you go to put up a community post. Sorry guys, I'll be gone for a week. Before you even hit post, this this banner comes up and said, are you sure you want to do this? You are you are in a timeout. And you go, no, no, sorry, cancel. <laughs> right? They don't even let you tell your people. She might be in the air. Yeah, that's what we said. She's probably on sock accounts. Yeah. How long she's been gone now? This is day two. Day two. Mm hmm. Anyway, I'm going to piss off for the day. I got orders to get out. Thank you guys for putting orders in the store. I'll get them out right now. I'm going to go package them up and take them right to the post office. And thank you guys for hanging out with me doing part four. We got part five when she landed in Kuwait. What? No, 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 no. Before that, we got to hear about Salah because she just put a hijab on to try it out. I just want to try this out because I'm catching a lot of shit on the internet. And I think I just want to be, I don't know, in a costume. So that's how it started. And then we're going to get into how she met Salah. And then we're going to get into ha, 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 her going to Kuwait. And then coming back, then the whole BBJ thing. Ah! Right? We have a lot to cover. We, we still got a series to do. We got plenty to cover while she's gone. Everybody Relax. I'm not covering the naked and laughing in Cobra situation. By the way, she's going home today. Um, a troll, by the way, um, naked and laughing, showed everybody her confirmation for her round trip flights. And a troll took the confirmation number with her real name and canceled her flight home. So supposedly the person that bought her the ticket is fighting with American Airlines to get her a ticket to go home today. Because last night, she turned into a demon. She drank absinthe and something else and turned into a demon. Literally. Now, when you go to a cemetery and play with a Ouija board for fo photo ops and videos, that shit will come back to get you. So last night she turned into a demon. I mean, growling demon. Going after Cobra. <laughs> Hitting herself. Slapping herself. Now, we didn't get to see it, but we got to hear it all. So anyway, that was nuts. You can go catch the clips of that. Um, I think Blondie um, and Jessica Messica. But Jessica Messica is the whole thing. But there are clips of, and then I think he left the apartment. Um, so I ain't covering that shit. I ain't covering that shit. It is too, I would rather cover Crystal station in the car while Leslie and her angry grandpa are going at it in the front seat, then I would want to cover that other stuff. Because that's more disturbing to me than, than, than the stuff that goes on in the car with Crystal Station and Leslie and grandpa. He probably went over to Aaron's, the neighbors, yeah. She, she has been losing her shit, like angry, right on the jump, every time she drinks. 
I don't think she should drink. I really don't. I think it has an effect on her brain. I don't know, Grace style. How can she act like that and think that she can keep a man? Well, I think she's got some possible, uh, maybe bipolar. In my opinion, if I were to guess, uh, she gets manic real quick. That That's just the way, but, but he's autistic. And I, I don't know, it's just very uncomfortable. I mean, you can see the switch. It's, it's not like Chantal putting on a show. Like this is a true switch. So it's like trauma, right? So that's why I don't cover it. But I watch the clips when people are like, oh my God, I'm like, oh my God, what happened? I just, wow. But no, I'm not gonna react to it. I don't want it on my channel. That's why, that's the only reason why. It's not like, I'm not, I'm not gonna be like, wow, behavior, human behavior. Of course I'm gonna look at it. But I don't want to react to it. I don't, I still want it on my channel. Cobra definitely is handling it pretty good. He was trying to de-escalate the whole situation. And the, the landlord, he can get kicked out of where he lives because the neighbors are complaining. And that's the worst part. As she has no concern for his home. That's his home. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, that's like the crazy life. And that, yeah, it's, I don't want that on my channel. <laughs> God. Anyway, no, we're going to continue with our flashbacks. So this weekend, we will be doing part five. Part five. We're going to be doing part five this weekend. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow or Sunday. I don't know what Mr. No Madness has planned, but I know next week it's probably going to be like, sporadic. I actually have possible full week of shit I gotta do. It's so it could be evenings. I don't know. And yeah, it's gonna be crazy next week. So on April 1st, we are gonna revisit our budget challenge. Um, April 1st. So I don't know if it's gonna be in the evening or the morning because I don't know what my schedule is yet. I won't find out until Sunday night. So then I'll know when I can do my live streams. But we're going to do part four this weekend. Happy Easter, by the way. Um, I know it's Easter, so I'm probably going to do it tomorrow and take Easter day off because it is Easter for everyone. Um, he has risen, okay? I'm going to take that day off. All right, guys. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. And thank you so much for being a part of this and, and having a laugh and not, you know, getting upset. And uh, we're going to continue to forge forward with this whole analyzing the escape to Kuwait. All right, foodie, put your feet up or get walking or take this time. Take this time. You know what I mean? That's what I did. When you, when you gave me a week off, right? When you, when you put me in a timeout for a week, foodie, I took that time and used it constructively. I really did. All right, guys. I love y'all. Have a great day. Bye, guys. Over here, over here. Bye.